Electro-vlog! Hi, do you remember back in January 2014 I decided to change the brakes on my car? If you haven't seen that video, go watch it, I don't want to spoil it for you. Well, I also said something important in that video. When you change the brake pads, you must change all the pads on the front wheels or all the pads on the rear wheels. Well, I have a confession to make. I only changed the brakes on that one tire because the day was done and I thought I would do it the next day. But then I got lazy for three more years and I didn't change it. So let's get back to my car and change it now. Let's get to my tools. I always have so much junk in my trunk. <laughs> that rhyme. I guess my videos can't teach kids how to rhyme. I have junk in my trunk. <laughs> no. Let's jack it up. You know, every time I open these nuts, I feel like the last time I closed them, I was as strong as Hulk, and now I'm just an old boot. But I think they somehow get tighter over time. Yeah, I remember them. Actually, last time I was also opening it with my foot. See, it was three years ago, so I forgot how to do it properly. There's a saying that goes like, you learn by experience. I think that needs some amendment. Let me make it better so you can remember it forever. Oh yeah, you learn by experience, if you experience what you learned more often, by electro boom. Okay. Well, this is pretty nice and clean. Let's take the brake clamp off. And making it tighter. Well, this is not worn out much. Let me show you. Well, see that crack? I was expecting after three more years of pounding that crack would be completely gone. See, this crack is an indication of how much the pad is worn. If the crack is gone, it means that your pad is done. Well then, this has much more life in it. I can put it back. That's hot though. Seven years? Wait a minute. This is the same tire I changed last time. I sh Oh well, at least now I know it has much left on it. That was useless. Well, after that first video I realized that the gloves are for Actually, there was a funny story. While I was working on my video, a utility truck parked beside my car. A guy was working in the building on something. After a while, he approached me with these brand new gloves and told me, here, use these ones instead of your gloves. You know, he was one of those nice guys that offered you something that you can't reject, but then you don't really have need for them because that's the part of your video. So, you know, it was hard to tell him no, but hey. Yeah, a real man doesn't need gloves. His skin is his protection. But really, you should use gloves that's heavy duty enough for the job you're doing. I don't have them. Oh, Look at this. I'm a little bit late. There are traces of grinding on the disc. But it's not too bad. It's just the surface. Wow, the pad is pretty flat. See, that crack on this one is completely gone. This is stupid though. You see this piece of metal here? This is responsible to grind against your disc and make that squeaky sound that goes So, it works as an alarm to tell you that your pad is done. But instead, this thing is just grinding on my disc and wearing it away. It should really make the sound instead of grinding it. And see, this is the brake that I changed three years ago. Actually, it had some juice left in it. Well, doesn't matter. I have my brand new brakes from three years ago that I can use. I just take that piece of garbage alarm metal and connect it to this one so that it grinds my disc when it's almost over. And just remember, probably there is a lot of lead powder around here, so don't sniff the powders too much.
okay, I have my new pads on. Now there is a lot of people that say you have to go to a real car shop and shave the surface of your disc and level it. Also, you have to use these special sprays to clean the surface. Well, you know, that's probably the better way to do it. But this also has never hurt me before. Maybe the brake squeaks a little bit, but I haven't noticed. Well, I guess I'll update you later if something goes wrong. Now we are at the heavy duty task of pushing the brake piston back in. This is pretty hard. You know something? Probably if we put the car in ignition without turning the car on. Don't turn the car on. Probably it will go in much easier. Let me try. Okay, let's see if that made a difference. Ah, f Still nothing. Let me turn the car on. Well, the car didn't fall. Let's see. That made no difference. Let me press the brake a couple of times. Try again. It's not making any difference. Well, so much for that. I guess I have to just rely on my manly strength to push it in. It's going in slowly though. Ouch. Come on, go in. Ouch. Get it. Ouch. This is hard. Ow. Okay. Seems like it's far enough. Let's close it. Not far enough. Just a little bit more. That really should be far enough. There we go. <laughs> Done, man. Four more years of braking. <laughs> Seriously, though, next time I will change both tires at the same time. If I survive by then. And I guess the biggest part of all this is that you have to touch everything with your completely dirty hands. That's why you have to use a glove. <laughs> Bring your car down slower. 